In this video, we will be modeling hot aisle containment using a non-raised floor data center and having a ceiling plenum used for the return. So the first thing we need to do is edit our room. So we simply right click and click edit room. And again, we'll be using a non-raised floor data center with a ceiling plenum as the re return. We can leave the um, default settings for dimensions for now. That'll work for this video. The next step is to put a few cracks in the room. I'm going to put one in each corner and they're going to be downflow units pulling uh, air from the return plenum overhead. By selecting downflow, an extension will be added to the top of the crack which will go up to the ceiling plenum. This happens automatically. Now I'm just going to copy and paste using control C, control V in order to get copies of the cracks and put them in the room. You can notice I'll pull them outside the room and then unclick and this automatically snaps them to the perimeter of the room. Next I'm going to drag a rack into the room. I'm going to double click and use the editor dialog in order to get it in the position I want it to be in. Next I'm just going to align the rack row in the X direction to match up with a grid line. This is just to make it easier for myself going forward. I control C and control V in order to copy and paste the same rack row lower. Notice I leave a small gap between the two rack rows. Um, I want to show the best way to model this and the best way to build containment within the cool sim environment. Right now I'm just going to move the lower rack row in the X direction in a little bit. I am going to use the top rack row as a reference. Holding the shift key I'm going to click the lower and then top rack rows and select align to X max. Now I'm just going to start building the other side of the containment aisle by dropping in more rack rows. I'm going to make this a shorter rack row. I'm doing this on purpose so that there will be more gaps in the aisle and I really want to stress the best way to use containment despite these gaps. I'm going to align the two rack rows to the same spot in the Z direction in order to have our aisle start at the same spot. Again all I'm doing here is just aligning to the Z man. So I held my shift key, I clicked on both rack rows, and then I right clicked and set align to Z min. I'm going to control C control V to make a copy of this rack row down below. Next I'm going to change the position of the rack rows in order to be completely in line with the top rack row. I do this by using the previous method of aligning to the X min. I'm going to add a couple more racks to the row on the right and then I'm going to adjust the rack on the left so that they line up at the same position in the Z direction so they will be parallel to each other. Now I am ready to start building my containment using baffles. Once I have a baffle in the room I right click and select edit. In the editor under location it reads in room. This is important because it automatically makes the baffle the height of the room. I 
I'm going to use the Smart Measure tool to find the exact width of the aisle. As you can see, it's a perfect four feet. So my next step is to make the baffle slightly larger than four feet. In this case, I use 4.2. Notice I make the length of the baffle 4.2 feet. I want it to be slightly larger than the width of the aisle we are containing. An important thing to note is that baffles are modeled with the zero thickness. So at the end, um, where the baffle thins down to a point, that represents the actual pinpoint of where the baffle is. Now that I'm happy with the position of this baffle, I'm going to clone it to the bottom of the aisle. So I'm going to use the smart measure to get the length of the aisle and then clone it to the bottom. Now that I have the top and bottom of the aisle contained, it's time to do the sides. First, I just change the plane of the baffle. Then I can type in the 22 feet, which we measured earlier. Now I can start lining up the baffle. When aligning two baffles, which are perpendicular, it's easy to tell when there is a perfect corner made because the outside edge turns into a flush surface, as shown here. As I put the model in perspective mode, you can see that the racks cut through the baffle, so there's no need to cut any holes uh, in the baffle. Instead, they just poke through, and there's no geometry issues here. It's important to note that as long as you can see the rack outlets through the baffle, there will not be any issues with having the outlets be covered. Now that we are happy with this baffle, we can go ahead and clone it and move it 4.2 feet in the X direction to get the other side. Again, we check that we can see the outlets of the racks and sure enough, they are poking through the baffle. So this containment area is in good shape. The only step now is to put a hole in the ceiling plenum so the hot air can go up into the plenum above. I'm going to make the percent area open 100% to represent a complete hole in the ceiling. Next, we type in the size of the contained area, which is 4.2 feet wide and 22 feet long. We align the ceiling grill using the closed gaps feature. Now our hot aisle containment model is done and ready to be submitted. Now we can click solve and submit the model to the remote simulation facility. Here we can see the results and we can see that our containment area worked just as we wanted it to. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Thank you.